Hi, thanks for watching Peter's Food Adventures, and today I'm going to teach you how to eat caviar. Now, there's two types of caviar. There's one that you're probably going to see in the grocery stores. Uh, this is a lumpfish caviar. This is not caviar, even though it says it's caviar. It's a, it's a roe. The other one is the real Russian caviar. This is from the Caspian Sea. This is a bester caviar, and it's a, it's a sturgeon hybrid, and it is amazing. So, when you open up the lumpfish caviar, it's, it's very much um, like a salmon bait. It's a roe. It's, uh, of course, it's acceptable as, uh, you know, caviars go. This is like 10 bucks. It's cheap and cheerful. You can look a little fancy. But I really, really, really like the real Russian caviar. And there is a difference when you smell it. It's not as fishy. It's more creamy. When you eat it, it's a bit more buttery. It doesn't taste like raw fish, even though technically it is. Uh, so let's get started on how we make it. Okay, so rule number one is you got to look at the spoons that you're using. Now, when I'm using the cheap caviar, uh, I just use a regular spoon. This isn't real gold. Traditionally, when you use the real caviar, you need to either use a ceramic spoon, a mother of pearl spoon, something that is non-metallic uh, because you don't want to ruin the, uh, the delicate flavors. It actually reacts to the metal, and I know it comes in a metal tin, uh, but these are specially treated ones that don't impact the flavor negatively. All right, so with this lumpfish caviar, I've just got some deviled eggs, and that's it. You just put uh, some mayonnaise into the egg yolk on the hard-boiled egg, and that is ready to serve just like that. You can put a sprig of uh, dill on there. I mean, everyone in Russia loves dill. And that's a real easy way to serve an appetizer uh, with caviar. The other way to make it is with bread and butter. Believe it or not, uh, this is not a fancy thing. It's just, you, quite often it's done with red caviar and the kind of the bigger salmon row ones. And I've got some of that. I'll add it into the photo mix. And that's it. Lots of butter, and that's the other really easy way on a weekend for a breakfast, brunch even. So easy and really tasty. Now the purest way to eat caviar is just to enjoy it by itself. Now I've got my spoon here. You just, I really only use about a teaspoon at a time. You can do a little bit more. And traditionally, it was just eaten on your, I don't know, not a wrist. Or thumb? I don't know what this is called. But uh, there is a caviar bar in St. Petersburg that pairs different types of caviar tastings with different types of vodkas. And this is kind of the traditional way of eating it. Remember, you can't use a metallic spoon. This will ruin your top shelf caviar. It just impacts the taste and the flavor. And that's all you need. You just... Uh... Mm. So good. Now you want to resist the urge of chewing. Don't chew the caviar, but smooth it around in your palate. The taste receptors are on your tongue. Your teeth doesn't have taste receptors. Oh, got caviar in my mouth. It's so good, and it's just the purest way to enjoy caviar. This is where you'd want to use um, the alcohol to cleanse your palate between the bites. Okay, so if you're watching this, you're probably buying caviar for a special occasion be it Valentine's, be it New Year's, it's not something that you have every day. And traditionally, uh, it's enjoyed with either vodka or champagne. So if you're doing Russian caviar, you gotta get the Russian vodka. Um, some people like to have a shot before to kind of cleanse the palate, have shots in between, uh, or have nothing at all. Uh, it's all up to you how you want to enjoy and what you want to enjoy your caviar with. All right, now if vodka's not for you, uh, it's very popular to have champagne alongside your caviar. If you're spending a lot of money on the proper caviar, get the proper champagne. Now this is a bottle of Moet, uh, and this is the top shelf stuff that's very readily available. It's a dry champagne. You want dry, not sweet uh, champagne to go with your caviar. There's a reason why they say caviar dreams and champagne wishes. No, the other way around. Champagne wishes and caviar dreams. Now, this is my favorite way to eat caviar. So when you're using the good stuff, that's the good caviar, you wanna use 
Uh, the ceramic spoon, always make sure it's on ice or around ice, served with ice so it's cold. And it's really quite simple. You've got these Russian blinchiki, these little blin there. They're like a little thick pancake. Uh, these I just bought at the store. Uh, and then you've got a hard boiled egg, finely diced. That's the egg yolk. That has been grated uh, and it's kind of maintained a really nice shape where you kind of semi freeze it. Then when you grate it, it keeps its shape and it looks a little nicer to serve. A red onion and uh, that's sour cream. And some people like to have uh, lemon in there. And really you can build your um, blin chick with whatever you like on there and top it with the caviar. As you see, it's quite easy to build. It's a little messy, but absolutely delicious. My caviar charcuterie board, I suppose. And that's it. That's how you eat fancy Russian caviar, uh, Russian style with some eggs on blinchiki and some sour cream. Like always, my recipes will be on my website. Hit like, subscribe to my channel, and wishing you all champagne and caviar dreams. Zavasha Zdorovia. Thanks for watching.